Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, guys. Here I am. I just came from a long walk with my grandson. A long walk, guys. It's a little bit cold, but it was good to walk. Guys, this is quick and easy meals. Um, when you're gonna watch this video after St. Patrick's Day, today is Sunday, St. Patrick's Day. Um, guys, I'm going to make uh, rice together with chicken. Uh, we have rotisserie chicken yesterday. So, of course, you guys know me. I take whatever is left on the bone and I peel it. And also, uh, this time I usually throw the bones and stuff away. This time I'm filling up a bag. I'm going to put this in my freezer. I'm going to make a um, chicken stock to put in a gallon and keep it in the refrigerator for when I need to um, cook. Uh, so, I'm going to do that. And guys, like I said, this is quick and easy meals. This is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, myself, Debra Cabasa, Home Living, and Jen Home Decor and more. So guys, I do have a two-three chicken here, but since I am not making any meat on the side, I'm going to make the yellow rice with um, chicken and beans on the side. So my that's what my grandson, uh, he loves it. So I cut um, uh, some chicken tenders. Yeah, they look like this because I usually buy the big pack of chicken tenders. I separate them, I pre-season, and I put them in my freezer. So I got here six chicken tender, cut in small cubes, plus the rotisserie chicken. Now, remember, you have a cooked chicken here and you have raw chicken here. So you're going to start by cooking the uh, raw chicken first. Here I have... Uh, medium to a large size onion chopped in pieces which i'm going to be cooking that with the uh, chicken also here i have some spices i have garlic powder i have sasom italian seasoning oregano and in here i have some bay leaf they're not going to go all go in the rice i'm going to divide the bay leaves and i have um cilantro here so i'm going to use some for the beans and for the rice so guys, we're going to do that. Let me start by heating up my pot. So guys, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, here in the Cabasa family, we are doing wonderful, guys. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some oil in the pot. I'm not going to put a lot of oil because I don't like to cook with a lot. So just to give you an idea how much oil I'm putting in here. Uh, going to put a spoon. That's it, that's plenty of oil. So that's going to prevent for my meat to stick and the rice to become smooshy. You guys know me, how I make my Stuff, so I'm going to let that get a little bit hot and uh, you know when it's hot when you hear sizzling that's actually it's already hot because I already had the pot a little bit uh, warm no, so we're going to put that there you want to cook your um, onion I know today is St. Patrick's Day, a lot of people are making corbin and cabbage and all that stuff, but my grandson don't like that. So I'm doing this. And I'm going to add my raw chicken. Even though that's a lot of chicken in there already, but I am cooking because also my husband will take some from um, his lunch to work tomorrow. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to let this cook and I'm going to bring you guys right back. All right, guys. So there is the chicken already cooked in the pot back here. I have a medium to a large size potato. Um, boiling you know I always say I don't know why they didn't put a light up here 
anyways so the chicken is already done see I released some juice so now to that chicken I'm going to add the rotisserie chicken and also when I took out my chicken to see the brown stuff that's the juice that creates like a gelatinous on the bottom so I actually put that in there because that's gonna give the rice uh, some flavor so now what, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, let this cook for another five to ten minutes more but before I do that I want to add my spices like I show you guys I want to add my bay leaf I'm going to add that one to the beans and the cilantro I will add more to the rice and the rest I will add on the beans so I'm going to let that uh, boil I'm also going to add to the rice some goya sofrito more spices guys yes we love spices um, actually I'm also going to add some to the beans and also to the beans and to the bean as well some olives this time I am not going to add olive to the rice I usually do and I'm going to stir this one more time a lot of people a lot of people what they do is like they buy what is with chicken and then they throw the rest away guys use everything do not waste food Food is so expensive nowadays, guys. Everything is expensive. Everything has gone up. You can always make another meal, you know? So I'm going to let that cook for another 5-10 minutes. And then I will be adding my rice. I have my rice here. And I always say, guys, I am using uh, medium grain. Um, this is the brand uh, Rico, Spanish rice. Uh, guys, I always say, wash your rice, guys. Wash your rice. You know, wash your rice. <laughs> yeah. Please wash your rice. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that. That's why I don't buy rice. They already um, come in the containers, already prepped, because that's prepping a warehouse. You know what I mean? And people are... I'm going to say it, but people are nasty. So I, I like to buy my white rice and I prep my own rice at home. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring you guys right back. All right, guys. So the rice is all set. Uh, that's already cooked. I washed my rice. Guys, it smells so good in my house right now. And I am so hungry. Okay, um, I washed the rice. You guys, I don't put a lot of water on my rice. I left a little bit in there. So I start with that. And then I see how much more I, water I have to add. So I'm going to stir it. A lot of people cook the rice and they don't stir it. I still cook it, but we do. We do, guys. We do. This is your rice, you do it however you would like to do it. So, I'm going to add a little more because I know that that's not going to be enough to help the rice cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since the pot is hot, I want to add hot water. Like that, I don't um, uh, bring down the temperature. So, I'm putting about a half a cup and I will start with that, guys. So I will stir it one more time. I will taste for um, salt 
anyways i don't like to uh, cook with a lot of salt so that's perfect oh it tastes like rotisserie chicken but it doesn't need anything else so i will just cover it now back here i already have the potatoes the seasoning olives and stuff so now i'm going to add my can of beans so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to oh lord please tell me i have beans oh boy let me see i have to check all right guys look who wants to say hello what are you doing right now because you can't wait for the food i'm eating what are you making hot pot because i'm fat <laughs> he said he's fat look at him guys look at him stand up straight this is so see all right guys He's gonna get his pot pie and then when the food is done, he's gonna eat his food. I'll show you his plate. Guys, this is what the rice is looking like. See, this is what I say. I don't need to cook any meat on the side. I don't know if you guys can see from there, but we don't need any meat on the side. This is plenty of meat. And I'm making a mess as I'm stirring. I'm gonna bring you guys close. Let me bring the chai pot down. You see how that looks like? See all that chicken there? So we don't need any more meat on the side. And then towards the back, here's the beans. So Going, going to uh, weigh into the potatoes are soft and then I'm going to let them cook a little bit down to get nice and thick to pour over the rice yeah guys it smells so good this is going to be so delicious so I'm going, I put them top like that so it'll evaporate quicker so it'll take longer time to the juice to evaporate the rice I'm going to turn it lower I will put it on the lowest setting that you can, and I will let it uh, cook. So it will take maybe 10 to 15 minutes for it to cook. And then from there, I will check. You guys know I take a little piece of rice and I do the bite test. If it has like a crunchy on the inside, that means the rice is not completely done. And I have said it before, and I will say it again as a reminder. It's not good to eat rice that has a bite on the inside because that means that the rice on the center is still raw and what it does it absorb whatever liquid your body has and then you get constipated. That's one thing that uh, my house, if my rice has a bite, I don't care where I go. If the rice has a bite, I tell them. So, um, yeah, guys. So we're going to get that to get done and I'm going to come back at you and show you the food plate. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I stirred the rice. I'm going to check it for see if it's done. So let's see. And it's about another 10 minutes. I'm not going to add any more water. I'm going to let it sit for 10 more minutes. And then to see if it's done, guys. So I'll be right back. done the beans are nice and done well let's plate this meal and go for the review guys all right guys our meal is served i only serve my husband and myself because even though today is sunday 
my grandson is in the bedroom with the tutor. Um, it's via camera, but we don't play that. We gotta study. So this is my husband's play. You guys can see see the steam coming out of it. Guys. There it is. And of course, my plate. So yeah, guys. And here it is. Guys, from my family to your, I want to say bon appetit. Guys, be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile overall. Stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you, and Debbie also loves you, too. It will be into the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.